MLB The Show's tour of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 16-team Pacific Coast League. Tonight, it's game three of this four-game set between the Las Vegas Aviators and the Reno Aces. And next up will be Franklin Barreto. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Hit sharply toward the right side. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. That the shortstop, Vimael Maschi. To the plate now, Vimael Maschi. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. On the move is Jay. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. That is third. The first baseman, Seth. Into the box Brown. now, Seth Brown. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Varsho goes to get it, but it's not in time, and he'll reach first despite going down on strikes. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Trace Lair. He's gone over his first six at-bats in the series so far. Hit in the air to left. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And they're going to take a one-nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Standing in, Greg Dykeman. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Two balls and a strike. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to deuce the ground ball to get a double play. Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runner's breaking from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 2 nothing ball game. Brown is off of first with two away. him up. Duzanak is there for it. And the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Alec Thomas. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Standing in now, Seth Beer. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. In now is John Jay. They off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Ah gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. At the plate now, Kevin Crone. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Now a drive out to the gap in right center. And the runner is in from second. And the second run is in to score as they bounce back to tie it at two. The third baseman. In now, Wyatt Matheson. And that misses two and one. Now a swing on. Look out over in the third base dugout as that thing nearly took out half the coaching staff. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And it's fouled away. 
Runner at second here with one man out. 2-2 two, two is a changeup that misses. 3-2. and two. John Hicks will be next. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. Stepping in now, John Hicks. 1-1 one, one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Now batting, Andy Young. And their runners at the corners now. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is the right fielder. And that one is gone! Into the box, Dalton Varsho. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. A bouncer to the left side. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Ready now, Tyler Ramirez. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really Whoa, key right for this there. leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Luis Barrera waits on deck, and he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. At the plate, Luis Barrera. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Standing in, Colin Thoreau. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. Matheson backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now with the play, Franklin Barreto. He singled to start the ball game and later came around to score the game's first run. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a... Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, Camden Duzanak. He set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Count is one and two now. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard to the right, but foul. The one-two. Gets him looking up around the letters. Now in the box, Alec Thomas. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first half bat. The one two. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Swing and a line drive. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. So now to the plate, Seth Beer drilled on the ground to short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The right fielder, number nine. To the plate now, John Jay. Grounded back up the middle. And that's through into center field, base hit. The throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. The pass. Kevin. At the plate now, Kevin Crone, a bouncer up the middle. And that's through into center field, base hit. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. 
Jamie Schultz is going to come on in relief now and he may be asked to eat several innings as this game is just still really getting underway. Into the box now Wyatt Matheson and that's high and off the plate two and one. And he misses again, ball three. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Barrera falls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, John Hicks. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. No contact there, and it's one and two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. Set and the 2 2 pitch. Two men are on with two men out. Hit sharply but foul down the right side. Here's another 2 2. Full count now, 3 and 2. These are the kind of A.B.'s regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he drops it. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at-bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Vimael Mashi, and they'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bump. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. The best, the first baseman, Seth Brown. Into the box, Seth Brown. Upper part of the strike zone, a dangerous pitch with the changeup, but he laid off. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. And this will be fouled away. Hit on the ground down the first baseline to second for one on to first to double play. So base is empty now after the double play and standing in is the D.H. Trace Lair. Two and one. And he can't catch the corner here so he's behind three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. And he fouls this one off. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. And a changeup. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Digging in, Greg Dykeman. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, Andy Young. He hit a big three run bomb in his first plate appearance. 
Yeah, and that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Here it comes on one and one. Hey! Hit back up the middle. Barreto fields cleanly to second for one on to first but not in time as he beats it out into the box Camden Duzanak first time up he went down looking yeah always frustrating to go down looking everybody does it though you'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled look for him to be on the attack early in the setback and it skips in as he steals the bag easily now the payoff pitch home now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first no swing so that's ball four so the batting order turns over now and set to go Alec Thomas he scored after reaching on a single in his last time up yeah and they take another single right here that third base coach is dying to wave his arms I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield he's going to wave them and the two one. Mm, chased a bad ball up out of the zone two and two sure took a healthy hack that time grounded back up the middle there's one relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired In now, Jonah Bride. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the 2 1. And he struck him out. So striding in, Tyler Ramirez. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Full count, three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. At the plate, Luis Barrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Two out, nobody on. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Tried to shoot the corner, and he missed it. Two and two. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Ian Gardner, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 92. Ian. Digging in to try it again. Seth Beer. He's one for two in the ball game. The one two. Is looked at for ball number two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The two two one more time. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Drill down the line. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. The right fielder, number nine. At the plate, John Jay. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Nobody out, runner on first. There's ball four. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Crone. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Kevin Crone. The 1-1. 
hit down the line at first. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the stretch. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Takes this the other way to right. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first down. Striding in, Wyatt Matheson. The third baseman, Wyatt Matheson. Hit on the ground toward the left. And that's through into left, a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Now back, the designated hitter, John Hicks. In now, John Hicks. And he'll miss the target there with the curveball, and it's two and one now. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Two, two, here it is. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Outside in a full count, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Count still full, three and two. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now batter. Digging in now, Andy Young. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. One and one, here it comes. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The 2-1 home. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. High and deep to right center. One run scores. And that'll get over the wall, in fact. So two runs will score, but not the third. So now to the plate, Dalton Varsho. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Right side hit hard. Ah, oh, way to get dirty. It's in time. Stepping up to the plate, Colin Thoreau. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now here it comes. Hit on the ground is short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Back to the top of the order now. And the exciting middle infielder Franklin Barreto bats next. The 1-1. One, one. Drilled right back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Now batter. The fifth Vimael. Stepping in now, Vimael Mashin. Lying toward the gap in left center. And again, he's got himself a base hit. Make it three for three. Throw won't get him. Now batter. The first baseman. Yeah. Standing in now, Brown. Seth Brown. Hit sharply on the ground. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Settling in now, Camden Duzanak. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. 
Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. Miguel Romero gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Miguel Romero. At the plate now, Alec Thomas. Fastball called strike, one and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So coming to the plate, the Seth best. Beer. He's Go two for field. three thus far. Beer. Now the one and one pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The one two. Misses ball two. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. John Jay is on deck. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Dykeman is there, two down. Stepping in, John Jay. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Romero will put this one away and the side is retired. Striding forward now is the DH. Trace Lair. It was a walk in his last trip. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Too high that time, and it's three and one. High and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Jay at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now at the plate, Greg Dykeman. Greg Dykeman. Here's the one and one pitch. Here's a pop up now. And there's out number two. So stepping in, Jonah Bride. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. You know, Maddie, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A.B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big now right now. Left fielder, Tyler. To the plate now, Tyler Ramirez. Inside corner called a strike one and two. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kevin Crone. He's two for three and looking for more here. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Three balls, two strikes. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Now that Digging in and looking for more, Wyatt Matheson is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. 1-1. Back 
back up the middle. To second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Digging into the batter's box next is John Hicks. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering if the golden sombrero is soon to follow. Gotta lock this A.B. in. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Jeremy Beasley is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 59, Jeremy. All set for the start of the inning. Striding into the box, Luis Barrera. He was a ground out victim last time up. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Stepping in, Colin Thoreau. Over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Second Franklin Barreto. And he chases one up the ladder as he hits a high fly ball out to straightaway center. Thomas is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So digging in now, Andy Young. Lunging at a changeup that time, and he pops it up near second. And there's the first out. Now At the plate, Ketcher. Dalton Varsho. He was retired via the ground ball last Varsho. time up. High in the air out to center field. Barrera is there, two gone. Ready once again, Camden Duzanak. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Boy, this guy right here in that last A.B., how about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark, but a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out to center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Now here's a fly ball, well hit. Racing back the right fielder on the warning track. He makes the catch. Ready for another shot now. Vimael Mashin. It was a single for him in his last at bat. 1 1. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Beer comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Riding in once again, Seth Brown. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Next will be the designated hitter, Trace Lair. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. The 2-2. A little roller toward the hole. Throw in time, and the side is retired. of inning number eight set to go so the lineup flips over and digging in Alec Thomas he's two for four in the ball game and a fast
fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Digging in once again, Seth Beer. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. The one two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ramirez is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Stepping up now, John Jay. So far, two for three in this one. The 2-1. Two, two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. Last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Kevin Crone would be next. Full count here. Here comes the pitch to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Greg Dykeman. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth into his motion here comes the three and one popped him up Matheson over to his right looks it into his glove and there's one gone coming to the plate now Jonah Bryant he steps in off a base hit in his last at bat and that one misses badly it's ball two Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Into the box now, Tyler Ramirez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And that is past him at first. It's a fair ball. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now back, the center fielder, Luis Barrera. Into the box now, Luis Barrera. This one's down to third. Reined in. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Well, the tone was set for this game from the very first inning. They came out absolutely banging the ball around and took that great start to another notch in the win call. 10-3 at the end of this contest. Reno jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. John Dupontier notches his third win of the year. James Caprillion was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. Jeremy Beasley takes the rare three-inning save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game. For the victorious Aces, 10 runs, 13 hits. No arrows. They left six men on base. For Las Vegas, three runs on eight hits. No arrows. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.